think the value of having a life as difficult and as vivid as yours, a real place you came from. And a lot of today's upper classes, it just really never came from a real place. They're all stuck in this elite bubble that, in which they don't have to face some existential questions. And then they can play at this. But please tell me that kids still respond to these texts and how they, and how people who are not quote unquote white, straight, whatever, can also respond to these texts. What's your experience of that? You know, the humanities in academia are, are collapsing. People are, are fleeing them. And they're fleeing them. It's not because they want to be software engineers or financial economics majors instead. Uh, that's not why. They're, they're fleeing them because what they're getting in them is uh, a lot of fluff, a lot of junk, a lot of insubstantial, vacuous, confused, meaningless junk. The questions that the humanities, that literature, that philosophy, that ethics, that history, the questions that makes those disciplines alive, the questions that make them matter, the questions that make them uh, compelling have been so often shunted aside. And that is why ultimately the humanities are collapsing. And, and you know, it's, it's, it's because they have abandoned the ground of our humanity. If you put those questions back, at the end, people will come. And that's why places like, you know, the Columbia Core Curriculum, not to get too provincial, but it's the place where I encounter these books and students today, every Columbia undergraduate has to read these books and discuss them. And many of them hate them while they're doing them, but almost overwhelmingly, all of them love having done it. And it's like a religion among Columbia alumni, this, this intellectual experience. And the reason why that program persists is because of alu the alumni, anytime it comes under threat, they're ready to walk away from the institution and never give them a penny if they touch the core curriculum. Why is that? Because it speaks to them, and not just when they're doing it, for the rest of their lives. You know, when I came to Columbia, it was the first time where I was begun to be treated as an ethnic subject. The first time where I was identified first as as a marginalized, of color, oppressed individual. And I, 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 it took me a long time to just like make sense of that. Like, no, wait a minute. That, that's, not, that's not who I am. That's not the experience of myself. And to the extent that those things describe me, they don't define me. And today's, the people that I encounter today in the classroom, both low-income people of color, but also very affluent and very privileged kids are hungering for contact with these kinds of questions and these kinds of thinking. It's not true that young people come to college today just to get a career. It's not true that they're coming to college just as a, as a kind of instrumental transaction. In fact, they are obsessed with existential questions. They are obsessed with is there really no other point to this life I'm living than to make a lot of money, to be the biggest boss and to be the biggest family? Is that really all there is? These questions matter to them with a kind of urgency. And it's sad, it's lamentable, it's tragic that when they come to the university, they don't find there a place where you can take these questions even seriously, where those questions have simply be, been put out of the curriculum and, 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 and out of the discussion. And I have very little patience for that. You know, it may be because my... You know, I, I, I didn't have time for, for games or something. I, was, I, I, I had a kind of seriousness about, you know, what is it that matters and what am I here for? That even though I, you know, postmodernism deconstruction theory was fascinating to me, I, I, I was a very serious student of that and, and, uh, in college and was enamored of it and then kind of got to the bottom of it and, and thought, wait, no. No. It deconstructed <laughs> itself. Exactly. It deconstructed itself. <laughs>